Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a nice little review slash try on of some of the products I picked up from the Rare Beauty collection. I was so excited for this collection because this whole line just seems really up my alley. So I picked up the complexion products, the liquid lipstick. I have the soft pinch matte liquid blush. I also have a mini version and I got this online with a code. So I have it in two colors. And then I got the lip balm. So these two I have not tried yet. So we're going to see how they do. But for these three, I have been using them for the past couple days. So pretty much have a good idea of what I like and what I don't like. But for the most part, it's all things that I like. The first thing I'm going to do is put on some of the lip balm because my lips are very dry. So let's see how this does. I got the shade Thankful, which is a like nude shade and I know it's very pigmented so let's see how this does on my lips. My lips are a mix of like a purpley brown and pink so they're a bunch of colors. This is really creamy. It definitely looks a bit on the light side. I'm not too crazy about the color for myself personally but I know the other one was a bit on the cool tone side, so that's why I got this one. I do, however, really like the packaging. I saw Selena talking about it and how it doesn't roll off the nightstand, so I really like that. As far as the smell goes, I don't think this has a fragrance, but I do have some type of flavor going on in the mouth, which is not the greatest. I've watched a handful of people talking about the products and no one has mentioned this. So let me know if you also taste this, if you get it. Let's start next with the foundation. So I have the shade 280N. I do love the packaging. People are of course concerned about the doe foot applicator, but I'm not really because I don't really have acne. I do have some marks all around, but that's just from I think wearing a mask all the time at work. And so I'm just going to dot that everywhere. I see people putting so much of this on and it really goes a long way. So it's really necessary. Just a tiny amount is good. And I wanted to pick up the brush, but I didn't because I have this one by Sigma. It's pretty similar. It's not a diamond shape, but it does give the same type of effect if you are into brushes. I'm not really a sponge person. And since this foundation is very liquidy. I didn't want to use a sponge. I did wet it for the concealer just to demonstrate, but this would just immediately soak up into the sponge. It blends in so fast. I don't really put makeup on my forehead, but I will for this video. My forehead just gets very tan, so. Yeah. I do have a scratch from my cat on my cheekbone, which is just super awesome, you know? This evens out your skin tone so fast. This is such an effortless product. I don't know if you can see that, but down here I do have a dry patch. I didn't even notice that until now. It's just some dry skin that could be exfoliated away, so if you have some dryness, it will accentuate it. It's also 4.30, so my skincare has been on my phase four the entire day and I haven't prepped my skin for this. So this claims to be buildable and natural. So I definitely agree on the naturalness of this. Just going to put a couple more dots on the cheeks. Maybe one down there. Moving on to the concealer, I have the shade 280N. So this is the coordinating concealer to this foundation and it is a brightening one. So it's a bit lighter and I'm just gonna dot that under my eyes. A lot of product comes off and I do like the shape. It's very cute and different. So I'm just going to do a couple dots. I have been swiping a little bit on the sides because I do get darkness on my chin. For the concealer, I'm going to do the brush on this side and the sponge on the other side just to show you guys what happens. So she does sell the little brush, which is adorable, but I have this one that is very similar in shape, so I didn't need to buy one. And again, this concealer was so for me because if you know, if you know, 
I have repurchased over and over the Bare Minerals Serum Concealer, but unfortunately that only comes in about five or six shades. So when this one claimed to be lightweight and people were saying that it was like a serum, I immediately knew that I had to try this out. So there is that side and with the sponge, It is a lot more effortless to blend out with a sponge, and I'm not really a sponge person, so yeah, I really love that. I'm just gonna continue with this. They're looking a little dark today, so I'm just going to do a little dot on that side, just that side. Next up we have the blush in the shade Love. This is in between Rosy and Terracotta. Look at this little tiny one. This is in the shade Grace and I really wanted this. That's why I ordered online so I got this for free because it's a mauve purple shade and I don't normally wear blush this color so that's why I wanted to try it out. Oh my god, this is adorable. Before I do blush, I'm just going to quickly I have two dots. I'm going to blend this out with the brush first. Since her collection does come with a brush, I want to see how this layers together. People were having trouble with it. I saw people putting powder on first, which doesn't make sense, so that's why I'm doing this. As you can see, it's clinging to that bronzer. Kind of knew it would do that, but she's definitely right when she said, Selena said, <laughs> that they blend in together because since I didn't set any of that, you can't really tell where it starts and where it begins. Now I'm going to put this on the back of my hand and go in with the sponge. Oh, I never do this with sponges because <laughs> I hate staining them. This is definitely a lot more patchy. So comparing the two sides, I think that the brush was a lot easier to use because it didn't just stamp on the product in one particular area. Um, I do think it's slightly patchy. Hmm, right in there, you can see that. But it might be because I put on bronzer. But you don't want this to be so finicky that you have to be super careful about powders and all that stuff. But I do like the finish. Honestly, I wouldn't really care too much. I'm not... Mm, Maybe I do care. Overall, I think it looks good, but it does have a little bit of patchiness that I can see from far away, like on the cheeks. I'm not sure if it's because it was lifting up the foundation or if it was just hard to blend out a little bit. So now that the concealer has just set in, I am going to just remove that excess. It's just what I do. I'm just going to set that with my hourglass powder. I don't have a highlight, so I'm just going to put on some cream highlighter right next to my cut there. An issue that I saw people having was the product being lifted up. Like when they put on the highlighter, I saw that it was lifting up. So I wanted to use a cream or liquid highlighter to see how it would react with the products. And I do see what people are talking about when it is appearing like it lifts up a little bit, like there's not blush in this area. And if you're a person that likes to blend everything in, it's kind of a little complicated. I don't think powder would have been as annoying to use because it would have just grazed over but if you're using a liquid it does kind of mess with the formulas so i think that the blush is the culprit of this honestly but i am wondering how the other formula would work not the matte one I'm just going to take off the lip balm and the last product i have here is the liquid lipstick in the color brave i love how soft this feels it feels amazing The texture of this lip product is unlike anything I've ever experienced. It makes you want to keep putting it on, which is a bit strange. It is subtle, but that's why I went with this color. On camera, it looks really bright for some reason, but in person, it just looks so beautiful. And again, I got 
this combination because I thought they would complement each other really well. At first it feels like it won't dry down, but it eventually does. You can't continue to rub your lips together and after about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how dry your lips are, it does start to dry and you get that feeling like you want to put on some lip balm. The fact that this doesn't dry down is one of the selling points for me and that's why I decided to pick it up because all the products I put on my mouth are somewhat comfortable or can be fixed with a lip balm or lip gloss. It's very soft and blurring and I love that. It is just so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to give you guys some final thoughts on all the products. So the foundation I really, really like. If you like a natural finish and something that's really easy to blend in, if you like brushes, even with a sponge, I do think it would sheer it out. So that's why I went with a brush application. You would love this. This is a serum foundation that doesn't feel oily. I absolutely love that. I do have combo skin so I think that's why it works for me on the website it says if you have drier skin to definitely moisturize before so I did see that with this patch I didn't know it was there and I know that if I did some skin prep or just did a light exfoliation I wouldn't have a problem moving on to the concealer if you love a natural finish and you don't like to wear a lot of makeup I think this is awesome because I'm like that I like the option of wearing concealer without putting anything else on my face or just the tiniest tint of product on my face. I don't like it to look too obvious that I have on concealer because it just blends down. It looks really unnatural. I just don't like that. So for instance, the hourglass one that I have, this is very full coverage. It's super obvious. This is more of a color correcting shade to me. So if I do want more of a full glam, I will put this on with this. I did try it and it works great. So if it sounds like you have the same taste as me, I think you would like this. For the blush, the matte blush, I love the way it goes on. I do think it's a bit finicky with layering. I do have to experiment. I think this would work really well with a powder, but as far as liquid, that's when I think you could run into some trouble. Because in the mirror, I do see how it looks like there's a patch missing from that high point. I feel like a lot of products would just run into trouble with this and they would just have a little fight on your face and they'd be competing and you want them to just blend together. So that's my story on the blush. I cannot wait to try this one out though because this is a fun color. For the lip souffle, I already told you guys, I really like it. It's not the most moisturizing, but as far as a liquid lipstick option that isn't super drying, this is really fun. Love this. And I'm just gonna stop with this color because I don't need any more. It's one of the situations. The last product is the lip balm. So I am kind of disappointed in this because I taste something and it's not like I actively taste something if I lick my lips. It's more like a fume is coming off of my lips and I can taste it. So I'm not sure if I'll be returning it. I'm gonna try it out a little bit more and I'm not really sold on the color. It's not the best color for me. And on the website, this was the only color that looked like it would be a nude for myself. I saw someone mention that it looks like the original Pillow Talk, which I've never bought because it does look like a color that wouldn't work for me, like it's too cool toned. If you have my skin tone, I don't recommend Thankful. I don't think it's that complimentary, but of course, like you can give it a try. So that sums it up for Rare Beauty. I am so excited about this collection. I'm really happy with the complexion products and wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please, hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful and i will see you guys in my next video bye